Good morning. My name is Cheryl. I'm one of the meditation teachers here at Ecumenical Buddhist Society of Little Rock. And um, this morning I'm going to do a guided meditation on cultivating compassion and peacefulness. Um, Buddha taught mindfulness meditation as a way to open ourselves and connect with our natural peacefulness, bravery, and love. So it's a very helpful thing for a time like this, very helpful technique. And um, as one of my teachers said, that if you practice this settle, sitting meditation, you find that your life begins to have a flat bottom to it, like it's settled, and it changes. It's just a, it's a quality of, of settledness that allows you to open up and look around you in a different way. So that's the fundamental idea. And of course, according to the Buddha's teachings, human beings, all of us, every human being, is born with a capacity for love and peacefulness that is uh, natural to us, just as natural as our capacity to learn to speak a language or to bake a pie or to um, play basketball um, or solve math problems or whatever. We have these skills born in, in us that we can cultivate as we grow up. Unfortunately, we live in cultures that encourage us uh, to do everything but use our natural peacefulness and compassion. We are constantly invited to be distracted, sometimes by very negative and fearful things. And we're also very rarely taught how to simply follow our own hearts and do the crazy but compassionate thing of helping strangers and stuff that, you know, everything in our culture says, no, 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 run away, be afraid. And yet we know in our heart of hearts that getting together, being kind is actually the best strategy, but it's not, not much encouraged in our world. So the good news though, is that our peace, our compassion, our wisdom are always with us anyway, even if we haven't paid much attention or worked very hard to cultivate them. And so I invite you to see when you do this meditation technique that we're going to do this morning to see if that is true for you. To see if you find that in the course of this little half hour that we're together, does your mind change at all? And, and furthermore, if you do the technique more often during the day or once a, once a day or the few times during the day, see if it actually changes anything about how you relate to yourself and how you relate to the world. And maybe you can find a flat bottom to, your, uh, to yourself too, which is shorthand for a, a state of being where things don't roll you over so hard. Things don't upset you quite so much. And you have the spaciousness and the confidence to be kind to other people. And it's a feedback loop. It gets better the more you do it. So this meditation is called um, uh, Calm Abiding. It's called Shamatha in Sanskrit. And that is usually translated in English to mindfulness. Um, but it's also called Calm Abiding. And um, so that's that's it in the whole thing. The whole technique is in the name. It has three stages, settling, opening, and resting. We start by using our body to settle our mind, and then we use some imagination to open our heart and our mind a little bit out by following the breath, picturing the breath, and then we rest at the end. And um, um, we, nat we rest in the natural warmth and peacefulness that is in our own minds. 
So it's not always warm and peaceful when the first time you do this practice. It can be that the first thing you notice is your restlessness and your anxiety. But the whole point is that you settle into your bottom, let your bottom be planted firmly in the present moment. Let your body settle, let your mind settle and see what changes as a result. So don't panic. If you sit down and everything's noisy, it will grow quiet if you give it a chance. So I'm going to turn the camera toward the Buddha while we meditate and then I'll come back at the end. There's the Buddha. So first, make sure that your body is in a relaxed but upright and awake posture. Feel your weight settling into the chair or cushion beneath you and also feel that you are fully supported and connected to the earth like a tree with deep roots. Feel your torso rising effortlessly up from that base. In a relaxed way, your spine lines up one vertebra on top of another, all the way up to your head. And your head rests comfortably on top of your spine. Feel the structure of your bones and spine supporting all the life flowing through your organs and your whole body. Feel the warmth at the core of your body. Feel the length of your arms from your shoulders down to your fingertips. Notice your face. If there's any tension in your face, your mouth, your eyes, your jaw, just let that tension go. Your eyes and ears are open, but not focused on anything in particular, like soldiers standing at ease, taking a break off duty. I'm going to ring the gong now. And as you listen to the sound of the gong disappearing into space, let your body completely settle and relax. Now I would like to call your attention to your breath. Notice how your belly opens to draw breath down into your body and how your belly contracts to let it go again. In your mind's eye, imagine that each in-breath brings peace and nourishment into your body, filling every cell with light and energy. And as you breathe out, picture the breath going far out into space, connecting to the big, big sky, the deep, deep ocean, and the calm, open spaces around you. This morning here in Little Rock, we have a blue, blue sky that looks like it goes on forever. 
So as you breathe out, just picture your breath going all the way out into outer space, into that endless blue sky. And as you breathe in, draw in the sunlight, the brilliant sunlight, warmth, everything your body needs to su survive comes in and everything you don't need, stress, worry, whatever, everything goes out and just disappears into space. Don't force anything this morning. Just breathe in and out naturally. If you're finding it difficult to relax your body or your mind, you can just uh, you can try putting your hand on the base of your belly and feel your hands warming that place, opening it up, relaxing it. And when you breathe in, breathe all the way down into the base of your belly. And then when you breathe out, send the air from there all the way out into space. So I'm going to ring the gong again and give you a minute to just feel your breath, just be with your breath and see what happens. Now, it's very natural that you will have thoughts and emotions while you're sitting here. Our minds are just naturally active. It's like any body of water is going to have waves in it. And so, in the same way, any living human mind is going to have activity. But we don't have to be in distracted by the activity. We don't have to be carried away by it. We don't have to be stressed out about it or disturbed by it. We don't have to judge or criticize or punish ourselves because our minds are active for heaven's sakes. Instead we can just let the mind do whatever it wants to do. We can give ourselves a pass. I mean, how do you know what your mind is supposed to do if you've never given it a chance to just do whatever it wants? So as you sit here in your settled, breathing body open to the space around you upright and at ease physically let your thoughts do whatever they need to do
and align yourself with your settled, steadfast breathing body and let go of all the thoughts. If you give your mind a safe, peaceful home base in your breathing body, it will naturally come back and rest there. And in this way, you can connect with your compassionate and peaceful nature. So I'm going to ring the gong one last time. And again, as you listen to the sound of the gong disappearing into space, just drop everything. Forget about watching your breath. Forget about keeping your body upright and at ease. Just rest. Just let go. Imagine that you've made the effort to draw an arrow with a bow, and then you release the arrow and you let it go, and all the effort is finished. The arrow is on its way. As you sit here, um, settled into your breathing body and open to the space around you and with your thoughts freely flowing, you can have a little confidence and bravery and peace. I like to picture my thoughts like children in a playground. They're not my children. They're other people's children. But they're nonetheless beautiful and enchanting. Or sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're cranky. Sometimes they fight with each other or they're mean to each other. But whatever they're doing, they're just children in a playground. I don't have to take care of them. I don't have to train them or chastise them. They're not my problem. 
And so I can just sit and observe and learn and see who they are. Be curious, be open. What are those children doing? In the same way, the thoughts and emotions that come up when I'm meditating are no threat to me. They are just signs of life inside of me, and my seeing of them is a sign of my awareness. So I don't have to pick favorites, reject the ones that are embarrassing or uh, that I don't like. I don't have to do anything. Thoughts come and go. They have their own birth and death and they don't really leave any trace. Someone said, one of the Buddhist teachers said that thoughts are like drawing with a stick on the surface of water. So as you sit here, if you need to, from time to time, refresh your connection to your settled body. Scan quickly and see if any tension has arisen anywhere, if your shoulders are sagging, your jaw is clenching, your eyes are squinting, your brow is furrowed, whatever. Scan quickly through, remind yourself to be relaxed and open. Maybe take a fresh breath in, breathe in again the nourishment of the universe and breathe out whatever you don't need and give it back to the universe. And just sink into the brilliant peaceful, loving calmness of your own nature, vibrantly alive and connected to the world, and also at ease, at rest, in peace. Feel the warmth of your body. Feel the movement of your breath. Feel the open space around you. There's plenty of time later to get up and do things, take care of business, check the news, talk to people, but right now you can just rest.
you are awake, you are alive, you are right where you belong, you are settled in this moment, in this space. I'm going to ring the gong one last time, and then we'll talk. Um, I encourage you to try this simple technique um, throughout your day. Remember the three parts, settling into your body, Opening out by using your breath to picture yourself going out into space and then um, resting. Rest. Even a minute or two once in a while is a good way to water your seeds and change your mind. I can almost guarantee that wherever you were at when you sat down, you're at a different place after this. So see if that's true for you. So again, thank you for joining me today. I hope this has been helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you again sometime, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.